Hi boys and girls, uh, it's Beth Smith. Um, I'm a face painter and uh, also an art instructor. So today our uh, painting is going to be kind of two in one painting. Um, so we are gonna do a, a portrait uh, with sunglasses on because it's summer now. Um, so what we need is, uh, I'm gonna start out with actually using watercolor And I'm just gonna float this on real, real quick so it doesn't run. That's the bad thing about painting upright with watercolor. I can't lay my thing flat. Um, now, your skin tone may be totally different than what I'm using. Uh, you can mix colors, you can use light darks, layer your color, you can use acrylics, not watercolor if you want. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of quickly lay a tone on there, okay? I'm not really gonna get real pasty with any kind of unique skin tones. If you've ever been on your phone, and I'll reflect on that as we go through this painting, so we all have a neck, don't we? And a lot of times necks are shadowed. So I'm gonna go a little darker right there, and then our hair shadows the sides. Uh, if you've ever made like um, your personal Bitmoji on your phone, you know, where you can go in, you pick your hair, you pick your eyes. Um, so just kind of think of this as being kind of a graphic image like that. It doesn't have to be overly um, personalized. Um, so let me go ahead. I can even go over my lips. I'm going to paint over those later anyway. So there we've kind of laid in a base color. Again, your color might be different than mine. Uh, but that's fine. All right, second thing we're gonna do is the, that we're gonna paint the hair, okay? Now, if you look at your hair or anybody, your friend's hair, you might discover that, whoa, hair's not, you know, even though you say you have brown hair, um, it's not all the same color. There's highlights in there that's just sort of natural, and some of you may do it intentionally. Uh, and if you're like me, uh, the coloring, there's some gray in there. Um, we don't always prefer that, but some people have beautiful gray hair. So I'm streaking this color in, and I'm okay again if it kind of has a brush look to it and has some highlights in there. That's fine because our hair, like I said, is not the same color at the top and the bottom. It's not the same color um, all over. So, and some of you probably have some pink streaks in your hair. I've seen girls with that. I think it's pretty. Uh, so again, and you could decide, hey, I'm going to make this what I'd like to have my hair look like. And again, maybe some of you who aren't brave enough to pink your hair, uh, you can do it in this painting. How about that? Um, so we're going to get that all laid on. And I'm going to go back, since I've just been talking about how your hair is buried, um, I'm gonna go back with a different brush. And I'm gonna put some, just some dark streaks in. If you look, you know, it's darker along your neck, it's darker when it's back in. This can give it a little bit of texture. And I'm barely touching my paper when I go to paint this on, okay? but it makes it look a little more textured like hair as opposed to like a cap or something that you'd have on your head. Um, so again, just very light, streaky. You know, maybe you have a curl to your hair and you've gotta get a little bit more of those lines in there to indicate that, okay? So again, that just tells us a little bit more about that hair. It individualizes it for you. Okay, I think I'll just leave the hair at that. All right, next thing, let's do the lips, all right? And I have chosen pink for the lips. Again, that is totally up to you. Uh, if you want it to just remain your flush color, that's fine. If you're like, oh, no, I'm gonna brighten it up. Um, top lips are usually thinner than the bottom lip, okay? So now I'm gonna paint out the bottom lip and it goes to a little point on the side. And a lot of times lipstick, if it's lipstick you're, you're indicating that you have on, um, it has a shine to it. So a lot of times you'll see the bottom lip, you know, to make that shine, you can just kind of smudge a little white on there. 
uh, bottom lip sticks out further than the top lip, so that white on there will indicate that, it'll highlight it, okay? Um, for the nose, we are gonna underdo instead of overdo. We're not gonna outline the nose, okay? We're just gonna put the nostrils in, okay? Notice I kind of picked up a smaller brush, and we're just gonna do that, okay? Our sunglasses are sitting on um, the nose there, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. If you look at those bitmojis, you know, they keep things pretty simple. That's called graphic, okay? Um, next is our trick to our painting. Uh, what we're gonna do is, if you have sunglasses on, what do they do? They reflect, okay? You might see, or if you're talking to a friend that has sunglasses on, you see yourself in their sunglasses. Um, in this case, what we're gonna do in this area we're gonna take ourselves to a place we would love to visit, a place we would love to spend the day. Um, so think about in your wildest dreams, maybe you wanna reflect um, that you're in Paris and it's the Eiffel Tower. So you'd put the Eiffel Tower in here as if you were standing in front of it and it's reflecting into your glasses, okay? Now, I love the beach, so guess what? I'm doing a little beach scene. Uh, and again, we're gonna keep it simple because we're working in a smaller space here. So I'm gonna paint my sky. And I'm gonna carry it across to here because it would be the same scene. All right, so there's my sky. And then I'm gonna put some of this pretty aqua water in here. And what do you think my last section's gonna be? What would be next? Uh, the beach. So then we're gonna have the beach in there next. Um, now for the beach sand, I'm actually going to use white. Um, I was just at Dauphin Island and Gulf Shores this past weekend and I saw a lot of white sand, okay? Now if you do the white sand, I really wouldn't even have to be painting this. I could leave it the white of the paper if I wanted, okay? Uh, what are some other things that you see at the beach? Uh, you might see uh, umbrellas, okay? So let's go in, I'll let that dry a little bit, and let's just do a little beach umbrella. I'll put a little stick on it. It was real windy this weekend. It was hard to keep the umbrellas up uh, and in their position. I'm actually gonna do a little beach chair and I'm just showing it from the back side, kind of put a little crisscross under it for its support. Okay, so that's my reflection on that side. On the other side, um, I think I'll go in and put a palm tree over there. So let's just do, there's the bottom. And I think I'll kind of keep it as a silhouette uh, the other video I turned in, we did palm trees as a silhouette. So I'm gonna keep it that way. And we'll assume that our sun is brighter in the background. So there's our little palm tree at the beach. Um, so again, you're gonna come in and put in the glasses, whatever it is and wherever you want to be. So think about if you had your wish for the summer, uh, where do you wanna sit? And where do you wanna go do something um, that will show uh, that, it, that you're there in your glasses? And then you're gonna come along with black and frame out your glasses. That'll make them pop. That'll be good contrast uh, with the rest of it. You could do this with a marker, a colored pencil, crayon. If you only have one size brush and you're like, I don't think I can paint that little stuff in the, um, you know, in the window of the glasses, uh, then do it with a crayon, do it with a marker, do it with something that allows you to control it better and be smaller. Um, so there is our little magical painting within a painting. And again, it's kind of your little wish for the summer. Where do you wanna be? Now, I will tell you something when you draw this. I didn't go into much about sketching, but make your sunglasses, draw them first, okay? And make them go corner to corner you know, on your paper. Um, go all the way across and then make them big, okay? Um, and then you're gonna come down a little bit, put two dots for your nose, um, draw out your chin, and notice how I let the hair 
soften the edge of the frame of the face, okay? So you don't have to have a harsh line there. You can just kind of let your hair do it if you want, depending on your hairstyle. Um, so again, have fun with it. Uh, make it, think of a pretty, pretty place you wanna go and put it in your glasses as if you are there. And have fun with it, uh, be creative, and um, hopefully it'll turn out great for you and you'll be inspired to do more artwork. So we will see you later.